Welcome to the weekly edition of the Spartan News. Proudly produced by the Video Club. Good morning, Spartans. This is Kendalyn. And that's Sava. And, and you're watching the Spartan News. Now news around the school. Service hours. How many service hours do you have? Well, you need 24 service hours to graduate. Mrs. Kenny would like to give a shout out to the 106 Spartans that finished their service hours this past summer. Way to go, Spartans! Speaking of way to go, nice job yearbook with the 2018-2019 yearbook. The cover was made by talented sophomore artist Fina Gwynn. The book is a 188-page celebration of the school year. If you didn't pick up your copy, please see Mr. DeFilippo room 366 before or after school. Did you forget to buy one? Mr. DeFilippo has 20 yearbooks to sell in 366 if you want to get your hands on one. Bring a check made out to OLCHS for $45 and get one of these few copies left. Ms. Schaefer would like to share some news from the world of PE. Records are going down as ultra students are working on their fitness. Lillian Featherstone gets on the Pacer record board as a freshman with a 106. Her twin sister, Elizabeth Featherstone, gets on the Pacer record board as a sophomore, just 110 days later. Now, Lillian Featherstone recently beat her old record and beats her sister with 112. Both of these sisters are great examples of the accomplishments possible in the PE program. Nice job. Today I'm here with Ms. Balthazar to talk about absences. If I know that I'm going to be absent or need to sign out, what should I do? That's a great question. Anytime you know you're going to be absent or you know you need to sign out, or even if you know you're going to be tardy in the morning due to something like a doctor's appointment or um, maybe a wake or a funeral, you want to pick up a prearranged absence form in the dean's office. You can also print one out from the website and you'll have all your teachers sign it, have a parent sign it, and then you turn it right back into me when it's completed. And that is the proper way to sign out. The, improper way to sign out is when your parent just shows up. We know that sometimes emergencies occur, but it's best for everyone if you fill out a prearranged absence form because when parents just show up unannounced, sometimes it's really hard to find you guys because you're outside for PE or maybe you're in the nurse's office um, and then the parent has to wait and then you miss your appointment and then the parent's frustrated. So the best way is to get a prearranged absence form and fill it out and turn it in. Thank you, and if I'm 18, can I call myself out? Another good question, that is a very common urban legend, let's say. You cannot call yourself in regardless of your age. You cannot sign yourself out regardless of your age. A parent or guardian who is listed on your Skyward must be the person to call you in or call you out of school. All right, thank you. One more thing, um, sorry. When you come to school late, always make sure you sign in at the attendance window. Even if you miss all of zero hour or all of first period, whatever the case may be, you need to make sure you sign in at the attendance window. When you do not sign in at the attendance window, you're considered truant. Truancy is when you are not in school and you should be. And this causes you to start the truancy process and also gives you a Saturday detention. So you do not want to do that. Same goes with signing out. Anytime you are supposed to sign out, you need to come to the attendance window as well and sign out. Uh, again, if you don't, you're considered truant and you don't want to start that. All right, thank you. Make sure to grab a prearranged absence form and sign in and out, Spartans. Now I'm with Sarah to talk about senior gear. Attention all seniors, sign up in the Media Center Tuesday, September 17th to vote on your senior gear. Sounds good. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Now to club and activity news from around the school. The Student Council is getting prepared for Homecoming 2019. This year's theme is There's No Place Like Home. Not only is the 2019 musical The Wizard of Oz, but this is an extra special year because every fall sport except for freshman football has a home contest that week. This is quite unusual and that's the genesis of Student Council's home theme. Cast your vote for Homecoming Court online on Wednesday from 8.30 to 11.30. Window painting will be Thursday, 3 to 5 p.m. Get ready for an amazing week. One of the fun parts of Homecoming Week is the Powder Puff Game. Let's hear more about this event. Hello, I'm Sapan. I'm here with... I'm McGrath. Ariana Anderson. To talk about the Powder Puff Games, could you tell me what it is? Uh, the Powder Puff Game is an all-girls flag football homecoming activity where we play on the, uh, on the field outside. <laughs> Could you tell us how to get involved? Um, to sign up for Powder Puff, scan the QR code outside of room 217 and turn in your money and permission slip by Friday. Thank you, and don't forget to sign up. 
Calling all new and returning chess team members. The season is starting soon. We are meeting twice a week, usually Tuesdays and Thursdays, in room 220 after school. Email Coach Farrow or stop by and please join the chess remind with the code at Coach Farrow. And now, to sports. Hi, this is Iman Cater. And this is Hibba Warhini. The fall season is in full swing. Head on out to Evergreen Park tonight and roof on the Spartans. Thanks for joining us today. We love being your place for the Spartan news. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Make sure to keep being awesome, wear a big smile, laugh, and spread some happiness each and every day. See you, See you next, next week, Spartans! Spartans!